Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In today's video, I will explain a question which is a bit difficult also. It is given that there are two semicircles inside a triangle. The angle P is 30 degree. This is QTN which is the radius of this smaller semicircle. So Q is the center of this smaller semicircle. R is the center of this bigger semicircle and I U is the radius of this semicircle. We have to calculate the length of SV. We have to calculate the radius R and this R. And we'll also calculate all the other values also. So let's start. We'll start from point PQT, that is triangle PQT. This angle is 30 degree. This angle 90 degree because radius is perpendicular to tangent. And PT is tangent, QT is radius. We'll ap uh, apply tangent of angle P. That will be equal to QT upon PT. Tan theta is P by B, perpendicular upon this. Tan 30 is 1 by root 2. QT is given as 2. And we can calculate PT. So the length of PT is 2 root 3. Now we apply sine theta here. Sine 30. That is opposite side P upon H QT upon PQ. Sine 30 is 1 by 2. QT is 2. PQ we can calculate. Which will be equal to 2 into 2. So the length of PQ is 4. Now let's calculate the radius of this. Suppose the radius of the bigger semicircle is smaller. R is the center, RU. Now in this particular case, we can apply this radius is 2. So let's apply sine theta again. Sine theta, that is sine P, is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. In this case, the triangle was PQT. Now we are taking triangle PRE. Sine theta is sine 30. Again, why this is a right angle triangle? Because this is 90. Radius is perpendicular to tangent. So this is also perpendicular. And this is also perpendicular. Radius and tangent. Sine 30 at sin ru sorry it's not rd ru upon theta ru is r pr is 4 plus 2 plus r pr is pq plus qr that is pq is 4 and qr is 2 plus r and sin dot is 1 by 2 6 plus r cross multiply so qr is equal to 6 plus r, that is r is equal to 6. So this radius is equal to 6. This radius is also 6. And this is also radius. So this is also 6. Now finally, we will calculate SV. Now again, this angle is 90 degree because this is a tangent and this circle. So radius and tangent are perpendicular. So in triangle PSV, we can apply tan theta, it will be SV upon PS. Tan theta means tan 30. SV, suppose it is X. Now PS, <coughs> check this PS is 4. P PS is PQ plus QR plus RS. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. PQ is 4, QR is 2 plus 6, and RS is also 6. So root 3x cross multiply, root 3x is equals to 4, root 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. The value of x will be equal to 18 upon root 3. We can rationalize this, multiply and divide by root 3. So it becomes 18 root 3 by 3. And so now this 
value of x will be 6 root 2. This length will be 6 root 2. Now check this one. Sv is 6 root 3 and uv is also 6. U will, will also be 6 root 3 because from point V, that is an external point, two tangents are drawn on this semicircle. Both the tangents should be equal. So this length is 6 root 3. And now we have to calculate TU only, which is very simple if we consider PRU. In this triangle PRU, if we apply in triangle PRU, if we apply sine theta, then it will be perpendicular upon this. RU upon, well, let's apply ten theta. R u upon p. 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. R u is 6. And uh, p u, we have to calculate. So p u will be 6 root 3. So p 2 u is 6 root 3. If this length is 6 root 3 and pt is 2 root 3, p u will be 4 root 3. So in this diagram, we have calculated every single line segment which was there. We have calculated the value of PQ, PT, QR, PU, RS, UV, and S. Every line we have calculated. So friends, I, I hope you like this video. Please like our videos and subscribe to our channel.